I feel like the middle of the year is a time that everyone is trying to go on holidays, usually somewhere abroad where it's really hot and tropical. So today I've teamed up with W Concept to share with you my vacation wardrobe essentials as well as a little bit of a lookbook in the second half of this video. Now if you aren't familiar with W Concept, I highly recommend going and checking out. I'm going to have all the links down in the description box. They have a really wonderful selection of carefully curated independent designers and I feel like every single time I go on their site I always spot something that I like. Usually something that is a little bit more unique and that you won't necessarily find anywhere else. They've also got a really amazing vacation edit on there right now which is stock full of the most incredible pieces that would be perfect for a holiday abroad. So I am also going to leave a link to that down in the description box and they have very kindly given me a discount code for 10% off the entire site so this also applies to sale items which I think is fantastic it's Mademoiselle 10 which I am going to put across the screen here and again I will have all those details down in the description so let's dive right in with my first vacation wear essential which is just a basic tee I'd recommend taking a couple of these with you because I sort of feel like they're the kind of things that you're going to wear interchangeably day to day especially if you're going somewhere really hot I also love how versatile a basic tee can be depending on how you accessorize or how you choose to wear it you can easily dress it up or down so perfect for an evening out or just going and relaxing by the pool and being made of cotton they're also super breathable so that is a must and I love the fact that this one is super oversized too so just feels really comfortable when you're on holiday the second vacation essential that I wanted to mention is a really easy breezy blouse this one here is from open house and I love the fact that it's got almost a cotton gauzy sort of look to it it's really oversized which I find is kind of a must again for blouses like this when you're on holiday because it means that you aren't going to have any fabric clinging to your skin and this one here is the kind that you could easily wear as a sort of a beach cover-up or something like that but you could also wear it a multitude of ways even if you just wanted to tie it at the waist I just think something like that is a really good holiday essential then dresses now there's three different dresses I wanted to mention because I've kind of got different categories of dresses so the first one is kind of like your day dress sightseeing dress something that you could even wear out if you put it with a really nice pair of heeled sandals this one is in sort of a cotton linen and it's a wrap style with a ruffle detail on it which I just think is so feminine really beautiful this one is from surfy and I love it, it actually comes in other colors as well then when you're going to the beach you want something that's more of a beach cover-up so <laughs> this one here from open house again I just think is so stunning it's got loads of movement to it I'm really sorry it's a little bit blown out um, but it's just gorgeous it's got a really nice texture to the fabric too and there are these little ties here so you can kind of adjust and personalize the fit which I think is nice but this one is just really beautiful it looks really elevated and elegant as well because of the long maxi length and the tiered ruffle detail and then the last one I've got is more of a fun piece which I think could be worn a couple of different ways this one is a trench style dress so I think if you wanted to wear something that was really cool and maybe a little bit edgier when you're traveling maybe you're going on more of a city break so you wanted something that's a bit more appropriate for that I think this one would be perfect like just imagine if you're in Spain or you're going to Madrid and you're just wandering around the city and something like this I think that would be lovely now what I like about this is that you can actually wear it open as a vest over things as well so I will show you how I wear that in the styling portion of the video but I just think this one's really gorgeous this is from N Or, and I love the color of it too um, definitely a little bit of a theme here with my color palette next I wanted to mention a bag and I always look for versatility not only in the clothing that I take with me on vacation but also in the accessories that I bring with me too and this next one kind of ticks all those boxes so this one here is from Marge Sherwood and it's a really beautiful crossbody bag in a mock croc leather I love the fact that it actually kind of helps to elevate all of these pieces here because they're all quite simple you know they're very neutral and this here has a lot of texture to it so it just adds another element to a holiday outfit but the best thing about this is how versatile it is so you can wear it as a shoulder bag you could wear it crossbody it also comes with a little strap so you could wear it as a belt bag which I think is great otherwise you could take the straps off and you could wear this as a clutch for the evening so I love the fact that it's kind of got a few different ways that you can wear it now this isn't quite big enough to fit my iPhone 8 plus so if we're being real I usually have them in my hand anyway though it will fit all the essentials so you can get a card wallet in here your card key for your hotel room a lipstick or lip gloss I also probably throw a SPF or something like that in here as well so I just thought that this was really great because of how versatile it is and to me that is such an important part of packing because you only have limited suitcase space then the next item that is a 100% must especially if you're going on more of a I guess a beach holiday is a great swimsuit now I personally love either a high-waisted bikini or a really good one piece and this one from Curry I think is lovely it's navy with a little bit of a polka dot design but what makes this really flattering is the ruched 
detail that goes across the waist. I just find that that really helps to kind of cinch everything in, give you a really nice shape. And this one isn't cut too high on the bum either. Then of course if you're going to the beach, I'd recommend also taking a sun hat with you. I always take one with me whenever I go on a tropical vacation. I just find it's best to be sun smart. I really like this one here. This is from the brand Coralique and it is really nice. Um, I think this is probably going to be a bit of a Marmite one depending on whether you like this frayed look. But to me it just seems really beachy and really effortless and kind of relaxed. And I also love this little tie detail here. So when you're sick of kind of wearing it on your head, you can easily just tie a bow. Here and you can have it resting on your shoulders which I think is a really cute look it kind of feels a little bit Italian to me but I just think that is really chic as well I always love wearing shorts on vacation because I feel like they're super comfortable and you can get options that are a little bit more relaxed and ones that are a bit more tailored I've got two different styles to share the first one are this pair from among and they are a really beautiful cotton linen mix and they've got almost like a herringbone weave to the fabric which I think makes them just a little bit more special when you look at them up close they're just super flattering they're cinched in at the waist and then they kind of have a wider leg and for me movement is definitely key when it comes to shorts like this they're very very comfortable and kind of really easy for the holiday I mean you could easily pair it with that swimsuit and you've kind of got a full outfit there or else you could pair it with you know a simple tee or you could pair it with that blouse that I mentioned but it's just one of those go-to pieces that goes with everything. Then on the other end of the spectrum for something more relaxed, I would go for a pair of denim shorts. I've just got two colors here. Um, now I will link some of my favorite pairs of denim shorts from W Concept down in the description box below. These ones I've got are quite old, I'm sorry. But just a really nice high-waisted pair, something that isn't too fitted around the leg, I think is perfect. I always like making sure that my legs aren't too restricted when I'm wearing something like this and I find that that's a really comfortable way to wear denim shorts for the summer or when you're going on a vacation to somewhere really hot. If your destination is super hot, then I feel like a sleeveless tank is an absolute must. Something that allows you to bare your shoulders and Again, it's just really easy and breezy. I love this one here from Urago because it's got a really nice knitted texture to it. Again, I love adding texture, especially when I'm taking basics away with me on holiday. I think it's a way to keep my outfits interesting and stop me from getting bored with my travel wardrobe. But this one is just, it's really nice. It's super fitted as well. Uh, and I feel like it's quite elegant and elevated. You could easily wear this with a little midi skirt or something like that. And it would look really refined. Now, of course, I couldn't talk about vacation wear essentials without mentioning a pair of sunglasses. These ones, again, that I've got are quite old. I'm really sorry, but I will link some that I really love down in the description box below. I tend to go for a cat eye shape and I always love frames that are a little bit larger just because it helps to protect a little bit more of my face from the sun. And one of the other things that I really like to take with me on vacation is a really good mini skirt. Usually I end up getting a bit of a tan so I like to show off my bronze legs so something that allows me to do that is always a must. I absolutely love this one here from Till because it's got some really subtle design details that I think set it apart from a standard little uh, mini skirt. So it has this asymmetrical detail both at the waistband and along the hemline too and then this stitch detail at the front and this kind of little flat panel bit at the back but I just think that this is really darling the kind of thing that you would wear not only on holiday but at home as well and being in a neutral color it is the kind of thing that will go with absolutely everything I do find in those hot destinations even if it's 26 degrees in the evening it will still feel cold I've had that experience many times whenever I've gone to Greece especially when I was younger so something like a cardigan or even a really lovely linen blazer I think is a great option this one here is from front row and I just think it is really beautiful it's very simple and the fact that it is not lined I mean that's going to be a really lightweight option. This one actually has a little bit of padding in the shoulders too which I think gives your outfit a bit of structure. And then the final thing I wanted to mention were shoes. Now I feel like two pairs of shoes should usually suffice. A really nice pair of flat sandals, something you are comfortable walking around in every single day. My tip is to make sure that you have worn them in before you go on holiday. And then another pair which is a little bit higher, maybe something with a block heel that you can wear if you're going out for a fancy meal or if you just want to elevate your outfit. So I would usually take something like a pair of tan leather slides these go with absolutely everything and are very easy to just kind of slip on and then I'd also just go for something like this very simple strappy with a nice block heel again these ones here are in a sort of a nude lizard color so they kind of go with this entire color palette that I've got going on here again I will link some of my favorites from W Concept down in the description box so you can go and check those out so those are all of my vacation wear essentials now I'm going to show you 20 different outfits styling up all of these pieces
I hope that you enjoyed them. I would love to know which look was your favorite. Thank you again to W Concept for partnering with me on this video. As I mentioned, the discount code and all the links to everything that I featured will be down in the description box below if you want to go check them out. If you're new here and you'd like to see more videos from me, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye. Oh,